we're gonna review the original line Firenze Arpeggio or Inspirazioni Firenze Arpeggio. We're gonna taste it black, we're gonna taste it with milk, and then we're gonna taste it iced and do all those things that I usually do in my taste test. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. This is the box right here. It comes in like a black box with like some purple fancy stuff there. And then this is the capsule. It's like a dark purple capsule. I love showing all the capsules. I feel like each one is very, very unique. So just a little bit about this pod. It's a level intensity nine, which is kind of like out of my comfort zone. But you know what? Lately, I've been just kind of keeping an open mind with any capsules because honestly, there's a few like the, um, in, I, I forgot what it's called. This one right here, Venezia. It's a level eight and it was pretty tasty and it's actually one of my favorites. So this one's a level nine. You can brew this one as a ristretto or espresso. We're gonna try it espresso because I'm just not a fan of ristretto. And then aromatic profile is intense and creamy. Aromatic notes are cocoa and intensely roasted, which leads me to believe that this is a good pot to use for like mochas, iced mochas, any type of mocha. I think this would be a really nice um, choice. It's seven dollars for the sleeve and the way that they describe it on the um website it's a short and dark roasted masterpiece and then it's a dense and creamy with bold roasty notes and you know what as i was reading the description it kind of reminds me of altizio this one right here so i actually took it out if you guys have the virtual line can you focus if you guys have the virtual line i think you guys can just use this one for you know whatever drink that you want as far as mochas because if I look up the information for Altizio I'm almost positive that it's going to be the same thing because I have tried this one and I like it so I mean the other one can't be quite different yep full bodied and creamy intensity level nine obviously you can't do a ristretto with the virtual line but it is a uh, espresso pod full bodied and creamy cocoa roasted the sleeve is a little bit more you're going to get you're going to pay eight 50 for the sleeve with the virtual line and it just pretty much says the same thing with the virtual line it says the addition of milk complements its natural full body which i think we can get the same thing with the original line so let's try this like again i have tried altizio actually with a mocha style drink and i liked it so i hope i like this one too i don't remember trying altizio with out milk i think i just use it as a latte style drink so i'm actually looking forward to trying it without milk and see seeing what it tastes let's get brewing So here's a shot of Altizio, <laughs> not Altizio, Arpeggio Forense. I think that's what it's called. Let's smell it. You can actually smell the cocoa in this one. Mm, that smells good. All right, I'm going to try it. I'm just going to try it off this little thing because it's so little. Like it's the amount is so little, so there's no use in... Oh! that is that is uh that is bold i wouldn't say bitter though it's just very bold what's that thing that rachel from friends says it's kick you in the crotch spit on your neck <laughs> kick you in the crotch spit on your neck fantastic or something like that that's what it feels like whoa yeah this is not one that i i would definitely not drink this without milk but if you like black coffee and you like a strong bold not bitter you could actually taste the coconuts in this without the milk if you like all that you might like this pot so let's try it with a little bit of milk i'm going to transfer it over to this thing over here i'm going to just froth some because i don't want it to be cold let's pour the milk first that might be too much for that one shot. This is probably like a quarter cup of milk. We're gonna just pour a little espresso. I don't know why my camera is not focusing. I'm gonna try it without sugar or syrup or anything like that and just kind of give it a taste and see if the milk kind of mellows out that boldness.
yeah, that's, that's actually quite nice. This is good. Not my favorite, but it's good. This is how it is. If I were to be stuck at a hotel and all I had was almond milk and this capsule, I wouldn't be mad at it. I wouldn't be mad. I think I would enjoy it very much. Now, if I was stuck in a hotel without any milk and just that capsule, then I would have problems. <laughs> but this is good. I'm gonna try it with the creme de cacao from Torani. Is it Torani? Yeah, Torani. Just because I feel like it'll just amp up those chocolatey notes. It still has that very like chocolatey, cocoa-y um, taste to it. So I'm gonna get that syrup. You know what, change of plans. I'm gonna try chocolate chip cookie dough. I am not the biggest fan of this, but I think this, with this, it might, it might be good. Maybe I just mixed this syrup with a wrong pair, like a wrong combo. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in there, just a tiny bit. And we'll mix it up and see what what the experience is like. Mmm, <laughs> just from the spoon. Dang, I could actually taste. I feel like I'm eating a chocolate chip cookie with this. That's what it is. That's literally all it is. Yes, I think this. What? Let me try it again. Mmm. Yes, guys, you have to try this. It actually legit, I hate that word sometimes, but it literally tastes like a like I'm drinking a chocolate chip cookie anything with caffeine. That's good. Oh my God. This is gonna be like the best iced latte. That's perfect. If you guys have this, and like I said, if you guys even have the um, Altizio, the chocolate chip cookie, chocolate chip cookie dough syrup from Tarani is the perfect perfect syrup i'm glad i tried it with that one because it actually really it tastes good dang that's awesome i love it okay <clears throat> i'm losing my mind here all right let's do an iced chocolate chip cookie dough latte because i just can't try it any other way anymore like that's it just has to be the latte so let's pretend we're going to a nice cafe and they have an iced chocolate chip cookie dough on their menu let's get it Look at this cutesy little bear. <laughs> Can you see it? Oh my God. There you go. Look at him, he's so cute. It's just an ice mold that you buy on Amazon and you just fill it with coffee and then just throw it on your favorite little iced coffee drink. So cute. But I'm gonna try this, mix it in a little bit. Yes, guys. Oh my god. This is so good. An iced chocolate chip cookie dough latte using that capsule. And like I said, if you guys have the virtual line, then you can then you guys can do the same thing with Altizio. Just two capsules. I did two capsules with the with the Essenza Plus also. Before you guys leave, I do wanted to mention we are in the process of 
selling our home when this video goes live our house will be already listed i think it lists tomorrow wednesday we're actually moving to rockford illinois which is about two hours from where we live now we're gonna rent out there because of my husband's job and then we're hoping to purchase a home back in this area um within the next month or so so there's so much going on my point with all of this is that if i miss an upload or if i only upload once a week then my apologies just know that i am busy behind the scenes but i'm always active on instagram and i've also been active on tiktok so if you guys want to see the funny side of me go to tiktok and if you guys just want to see my everyday life follow me on instagram i do have a lot of coffee reels there just playing around with like just a lot of different combos and capsules and all those things so i hope you guys can understand but i will try my best to have my uploads and everything as usual but with life changes like this you never know so that is all for today's video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye